you will. <coughs> uh huh. You will. You will come when I call you to come. Okay. Basically, I'm doing a piece on narcissism. What we were living in the car, and you were saying something about somebody else. But anyways, basically, we're talking about being narcissistic, meaning you only put yourself first and you say that you're superior to others as opposed to just equal, right? So now we're gonna redo that. Is this recording? Oh shit, fuck, it's recording. Sweet, it's Adrian. This is gonna go in the bloopers. <laughs> but anyways, listen, we did, we did the whole thing on narcissism, right? I think maybe this should be the main video. Okay, I've got my mask on. Adrian, you ready? All right, so we were doing this. Okay, you can't hear as well. So I'm gonna put this out to here. Okay, so we were doing this piece you on- probably should. Okay, no, no, hold on, hold on. My narcissism speaks before yours, and then I'll introduce your narcissism, okay? You can make faces, do all that shit, but I'm talking number one. Okay, so I was in the, um, the, uh, what was that? Oh, the car, and we were listening to NPR, and he did a piece on narcissism, and it was done by Brad Bushman. Bushman. He's a Bushman. Anyways, he says that... People become narcissistic when they are not thinking that they're equal to others, but they're thinking themselves superior to others. And the thing is, is that I am a narcissist, so this made me pay attention and I started to think, which can hurt at times. No, oh, oh. But anyways, it made me think, narcissism is good. I mean, have you seen our younger generation? They are like completely, this is what narcissism looks like, but with no merit, you know? I, I, I have to train them in their narcissism because as, you know, coming into my own narcissism, I realized that, how many times can I say narcissism in this video? But I fig figured that, okay, now you're just plain out distracting the shit out of me, bro. Okay, 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 okay hold up, hold up. Okay, 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 hold up my, my narcissism first. So now kids, these days, they actually want us to stop and listen to the dumb shit they actually have to say, but it doesn't... The, the, it, it's nothing, you know, you have to make them work for it. You have to see kids aren't, aren't aren't fully formed yet. You have to train them. They're like monkeys. They're like animalistic primal primates from like an era of which, you know, like is close in my past because I'm half black, right? And I know that's like a racist smack, but it's like when you can see the strength of the racism, the, the black and the white and being together and us just laughing at racism because it doesn't matter. It's just funny, the difference is a mix. Anyways, back to narcissism. I tend to fear off course, but I feel- We're waiting every night to find a lead and invite to kill all the people who come. Da, na, 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 come here, na, 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 embrace your narcissism. Da, na, 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 but you have to, no, hold up, hold up. You had the lyrics at first and then. You see, this is where he dropped through. You were singing something and I was like in rapture. Let me listen to the words. And then you stopped and you fucking forgot the rest yeah, of the song. I, bro, bro. I'll go look it up. Please do. That's the thing we do. Um, Google and we look things up because that's how you like stay in the middle age. It's like I'm getting older, I've got four kids, my memory is shot, how I stay on top, I have to look on the computer because that's what keeps us connected. It's like the web, but you gotta learn how to surf it and keep the, the good parts to a maximum and the small parts to a minimum. But I feel that how, how I am gonna develop my narcissism, and this is a response to um, Brad Bushman's study is that some people are born narcissistic. You can't vilify them for it. They're trying to down these people who have this ego in them. My, my baby, he's a straight up cold, stone cold nigger. He is a narcissist. He is a little Wayne. He is like a Kevin Hart. So if you see that in your kid, how are you going to bash that? You know, you need to, to fuel it because you can see that that type of go-getter mentality is what makes greats, but then you've also got to balance it out. You've got to hands in service. Once you hit a certain level of narcissism, you have to counterbalance that with more um, earthy, solid, sol solidarity between your fellow man. You know, I'm going to help raise society up. I may be making enormous amounts of 
cash flow but I want to give back and that's what I'm going to instill in him because he's a Leo and he's fire and he's a go-getter and he, he looks like he belongs on the stage like my whole family is on the stage life's a stage like Shakespeare right but it's like if you're creating these great um, personalities don't down them you have to just let them balance and work with the flow. He's got to master his fire energy to affect change, and that's part of the narcissism. But then he's got to balance it out with charity. But I mean, charity from the heart to really feel what your people are feeling, and not just hold on, and not just be detached like Marie Antoinette. You know, it's like she's saying, "Let them eat cake." You don't even know your people. How can you be a leader? You know, if you don't know your people and you try to to help them, to see their pain. You have to feel their pain, get down on their levels, and then you can, you can write back home, write back to Congress or whoever, wherever you're like working the parameters within in order to affect the social change. But politicians become fat and lazy, and it seems like sloth has permeated government. So everybody's lazy and nobody's willing to make the changes. And so now we're stuck. But more people have to try, but we have to try harder. And you can't just be rewarded for certain little aspects, you know, like of your life. That's why I appreciate Shakira. She's a narcissist. Those hips don't lie. But she's giving back. She's trying to um, build schools in Brazil. You know, that's what you do when you reach that level of, of stardom, of fame, of, of success. You give back. And that's what this world is so lacking. You know, you'll have your charities, but they're just a guise for, for um, rich people who form the world and all the conspiracy theories, man. I mean, they are just, the charities, they, they seem like they're gonna help, but are they really helping? You know, I mean, you have Bill Gates, and I don't mean to call him out, but all of these vaccines and the vaccine testing in Africa and all of this, you know, I mean, Vaccines have been proven to, to, to damage us, you know, the heavy metals. But you see, here I am ranting and raving again, and maybe my name should be Gem Rants, Rants, Raves. But it's just so connected, and it's just like if we are going to affect any sort of a change, we need to start thinking about this stuff, you know, and we need to start to awaken ourselves and enlighten ourselves. Um, <laughs> up in that bitch. But yeah, and my narcissistic son is just watching YouTube, you know, YouTube help open great pathways, but if it's constricted or like too much government interaction, America, aren't we supposed to be free? Can't police be free on our internet? You know what I'm saying? I mean, there's are and doing all these other things, but it's true. We should at least be able to communicate freely without being censored, put into a little box. There are different life forms that we need to appreciate and respect every one of them. I know I feel like Madonna in Vogue. Anyways, this is just a first of record for myself to see how crazy I am and all of that kind of stuff. And hopefully somebody made sense of it. The thing is, is that I think like a woman and I go do 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 because I multitask and I also being an Aquarius, I focus on like a hundred different things on the same time, but then nothing in particular. So I become a blonde airhead. And that's it. Good night, ladies and gentlemen. I love you.